Pat the chicken dry and cut into cubes. Add the olive oil to a large deep skillet on medium high heat. Once the pan is hot, add the cubed chicken along with salt and pepper. Cook until almost cooked through about six to seven minutes. Some pink is okay. We'll cook later on. Remove the chicken from the skillet. In the same pan, add the butter. Once melted, add the onion. Same pan. Wait, what? This is a Saturday night alone with me. What are we making again? We're making chicken marsala orzo. Got all the ingredients. Chicken marsala orzo. Let's try it. Here, you can have the first bite. Here we go. Ooh. Hot. Hot. Oh, that's good. Mm. So obviously this video already is not like my other stuff, right? This video isn't gonna have much to do with being a barista or getting a job as a barista. And because of that, a lot of you won't watch it but that's okay because i feel like the few of you that will and will stick around for this video i think y'all are some real ones the thing is that most of my subscriber demographic and honestly just like my following demographic across my social media platforms is mostly people in their 20s and i think that's great love that i love that i'm surrounded by my people around my age not saying i don't love the two percent of you that are 55 plus I love you. But I guess the reason I'm making this video is because, well, it's a Saturday night and I live in the city of Chicago and it's 9 p.m. and my apartment is a mess and I'm dressed like this and I just made chicken marsala orzo. And I think that's worth talking about. Let me explain. Oh my God. I love going out, I love being out, I love doing things, but I feel like recently I've been kind of in this like, sort of like hibernation phase, which is fine because it's winter. I think on top of that, especially the past couple of weeks, it's not that anything is wrong. It's just my social battery isn't where it normally is or could be. I think there's something to be said about being in your 20s, being young, and just the pressure to go out, be out, do things, go on vacations, do this, do that. It's kind of a lot, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I hate this chair. And recently, I just really haven't felt like doing that. I find I've been in this like creative flow recently. And I think a lot of my videos that I've been posting and like the skits that I've been coming up with, I've just been like in this flow recently of content and like, really really been into it really been experimenting with different forms of content and i don't know if maybe that's why i haven't really felt like being super social maybe is it maybe my creative process that's sort of draining me i don't know i don't know but like also too i think i've talked about this a little bit on my channel before and i feel like if you're watching this and you're 20 something maybe you could maybe you could relate because maybe this is like a a young person thing i i mean young is subjective I, you get what i'm saying 
I have the worst productivity guilt in the entire freaking world. Like, if I'm not doing something every second of the day, I am in my head being like, you could be doing something. You could be scripting, you could be editing, you could be making a fire orzo dish. I feel like though because of that, I feel like I never really give myself the permission to rest, which I, no, I do rest, I do. But that's the extent that I should, because even when I am resting, I'm literally thinking about what I have to do the next day, later that day. And I realize, you know, it's March. It's the beginning of March. Everyone kind of goes into hibernation mode during the winter. But I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Here's my other thing too. Living in a big city, during these economic times, I feel like the cost of going out and doing anything fun, dinners, activities, museums, everything is so expensive everything is so expensive and like i'm I've, I've been making a lot of food at home recently and i i do love cooking i've shared that a little bit on here so far i love cooking mostly because i feel like it's the only hobby of mine that isn't monetized which is nice but even going to the grocery store and picking up the ingredients for this it wasn't cheap by any means and now i don't know i feel it i just feel like recently when i've had the option to kind of stay inside my humble abode and cook or watch TV or scroll through TikTok. I feel like I've been opting for that a lot more recently. And it's not that it's bad that I'm doing that. I just feel, I just feel guilty for doing that. I mean, that also is my productivity guilt too. Here's the thing, I could have gone out and done something tonight, but I really did choose to stay in and hang out cook something for myself, have a little vanilla ice cream, a little olive oil, a little sea salt, you know? A little after dinner espresso. There's nothing wrong with that. But you know what though? Somebody asked me, I made a community post asking you guys to comment just like random stuff for this video, things you wanna talk about, whatever. And somebody asked me, actually let me pull up the comment. Somebody asked me, are there any behaviors or habits you had that changed after you worked in the service industry? I think that kind of goes in with who I am today. I've talked, like we've talked about this, like being a barista really did shape my life and I feel like something that I learned in the service industry, being a barista, was just always being go, 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 go. If you got time to lean, you got time to clean, okay? Like just always multitasking and juggling a bunch of things and I think for like five years straight being a barista, I like lived in chaos all the time, like, like, um, what's the word? What's the phrase? Um, not calculated. Controlled. Controlled chaos. All the time. Like that was my day to day, being in the service industry. It was being go, 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 multitasking, attention to detail, this, that, that, and the other. Don't let the cookie in the oven set on fire. Like, so much. And I don't know if that necessarily ever left. I don't, I don't think that's something that I left behind. I think that is something that is very relevant in my day-to-day -day life now. I feel like because I like worked in that environment of just being go, 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 and just craziness, I just, I feel like that is how I learned and still think is the way to work. I think that's just what I've learned, is just go, 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 work, work, work. Multitask, multitask, multitask. But sometimes I just don't really know when to like shut that off. I don't really have that switch between get shit done and you could get shit done later, relax. You know, you know what I'm saying? I literally, just last week I made the video, 20 lessons I learned in my 20s. As I was editing that video back, I was kind of hoping that it wouldn't come across as I was like all knowing. I like, I'm, I know everything in my 20s. I do not. I know some things. I've learned some things. I don't know everything. Arguably, there's probably no one that knows everything. So I hope that it didn't come across that way because that is not the case. I am still very much figuring it out along with all of you who are subscribed to me, the over 60% of you that are in your 20s. Like I get it. And if you're feeling sort of the way that I'm feeling right now, just kind of like drained, not necessarily burnt out. I'm not burnt out, thank God. But I am definitely a little drained. I am a little overworked. I am a little tired. <laughs> I'm never gonna stop though. That's the thing about productivity guilt. Even if I wanted to stop, I can't. Do you get how I'm feeling? Have you or do you feel this way too? It's just a lot. And then I think 
being a creator on top of that, a creative on top of that, can be exhausting. Mm. I'm still figuring it out, man. If you feel any of the way that I just sort of try to articulate, I hope you know at least that you're not alone. We're not, we're not, we're all in this together. Yeah, well, take it easy on yourself. Oh, and by the way, to the person who asked me if I think cereal is soup, I've thought long and hard about this. I'm gonna go ahead and say no, because soups need broths most of the time, and milk is not a broth. And like, I have my cereal with oat milk, so like that just wouldn't make sense because like you, you couldn't make like a oat milk noodle, chicken noodle, like that, that, that couldn't happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and say no, soup is not, no, cereal is not soup. Also, I sewed a coffee apron today. More on that later. I need to go clean this place up. I'm getting stressed. Okay, happy weekend. Love you, bye. Mwah.